I ask a question, you answer and hit the button, okay. and we move on to the next question. They all must be honest answers. What's your most irrational fear? Spiders. Too hard, sorry. Too, really, really, I'm very uh, sorry. Very aggressive. Sorry. What's your button for? All, uh, because I answer also. Okay. Um, irrational. Um, mine is the sound of styrofoam. Wow. You know when the, the chest hits each other? Um, <laughs> or cotton balls. Ooh. You know that. We couldn't even say it. No, because. Cotton you, balls. Yeah. Because, you know, when you feel them. Um, name a Because irrational. Do you mean the softest things in the world scare you? No. It's, you know when you feel them and no. they feel wonderful? No, it's the, I can take a, look at this, I can take a, a solid sheet of cotton, not the balls. Um, oh, wow, not, I'm still having trouble. No, um, by the Get way. Get those cotton balls out of we're here. We're talking about irrational. You're still gonna stick with spiders? That's not irrational, that's like a regular. Uh, I have a fear of uh, like bamboo in my fingernails. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That Everybody's like, good God. Yeah. That's no, I saw it in a movie once, and I still get, yeah. you know, like you with cotton balls. Exactly. Although mine actually is painful. Cotton's the best thing ever. <laughs> Name a celebrity who hasn't returned a text you sent. Name one who has. <laughs> uh, you always return texts. I do. Very quickly. I, I am a good it's returner. It's so fast that you text and put it down, and you can come back, and it was 27 minutes ago, she texted back, and you're like, oh my God, I should have kept my phone on me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Emily's birthday uh, and Valentine's Day are both coming up. What's the worst gift you've ever given her? That depends on perspective, because I think my gifts are amazing. Uh -huh. um, I've given her some gifts that she loves. Weirdly, jewelry, I'm a big miss. Big miss really? on everything. Yep. One of these, like, and she goes, like, oh my God, is there a gift receipt? Oh. Yeah, it's tough. You don't know her taste by now? I thought I did. I really did. Oh. And I've tried maybe six or seven times. Oh. Yeah. That's sad. Well, it's expensive. Yeah. It is. It, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure she returns them. But I don't get the money back. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to. It's a gift. Well, it's a gift receipt. <laughs> Say something sexy, but do it in a Boston accent. Barbecue. <laughs> sexy. Is barbecue not sexy? No. OK. No. Naked barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Uh, what's the strangest thing that you know too much about? Naked barbecue. <laughs> True. No. Yeah, yeah, I've been to a couple naked barbecues. That sounds dangerous. It is. I mean, it's, um, it's, it's, I thought it would help with my tan, but it's, it's not, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. You're a liar. Um, what part of your body are, are you proudest of? My fake beard. <laughs> Let's take it off now. Uh, uh, well, you're not going to say what you're proud of? My body? What? In my body? Yeah. I I grew up Catholic in Boston. You don't say you're proud of anybody, Pat. Right? <laughs> there ain't no body part that God didn't give you. You can't be proud of it. All right? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Edit. Great. <laughs> if you had a fragrance, what would it be called? <laughs> Make it Naked barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Come on, yeah. too easy. I mean, you're gonna stick with it. <laughs> Who was the last celebrity you freaked out about meeting? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I met Tom Brady once. Yeah. And I think that's pretty. There she is. Yep. Yeah. Meet the lone Boston woman yeah. just passed out. Yeah, yeah. That's what it sounds like when someone yeah. passes out, and, by the way. And then she just woke up. Yeah. <laughs> she just. <laughs> Uh, no, I met him, and I think I realized there's a computer chip put in you, even though uh, he had he wasn't playing it. They put a computer chip in you that when you meet Tom Brady, your computer shuts off. So he was like, "Hey, how you doing?" I was like, "Pretty good." <laughs> and, and that's all I remember about meeting him. I, I, yep. All right. And then woke up and was like, "Hi, Giselle," and that's all I remember. Oh wow. Yeah. It was a pretty weird night. Well, you did freak out. Yeah. If you and Chris Martin were to go on a date, where would you take him? Taco Bell. That's true. Really? I'm being dead serious. Yeah, when I was in college, I went for 13 days straight, two meals a day. Yeah. It's 26, 26 meals. Yes, it is. But I should have thought about it more, right? Yeah. No, it's true, Taco Bell. Okay. One of my favorites. Okay. Do I get an endorsement? <laughs> I actually do love Taco Bell. So well, maybe you will if get If I keep it. saying. Yeah, if you say how much you love Taco Bell, they will. What was your biggest uh, dad fail? 
Oh, man, so many. Um, uh, I, I, oh, man, I don't know. There, I should call my therapist. Um, there, I don't know. This I, is in place of that. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Doctor? Um, I don't know. My biggest dad fail is... You're a pretty good dad. I'm a pretty good dad. You I really try are. to be. Yeah, you're a good pretend dad. pretend to be in public. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Andy. He, Andy's not satisfied with this game so far. He's like, let's just stop then. Okay, I'll let him up. Guys, go. Can we push in on Andy, please? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, just sit with it. Yeah. Nope, he's still going, guys. Let's, let's keep it. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. What is the one thing that you've tried that you'll never do again? Uh, uh, water skiing. Oh yeah, that seems hard. To, yeah, to be fair, one ski. I was water skiing. Actually, now that I realize it was uh, it was Emily's fault. I was skiing great on two skis, first time in my life. And from the boat, she went, try one ski. And I went, no problem. And I put my toe down on this ski. And you've never, I think it was mathematically impossible how fast I fell. <laughs> it literally went like this and it was like, whoop. Like in the video, I'm gone. It was just, <laughs> I'm just gone into the water. So, uh, yeah, that took 12 months to recover from, and I'll okay. never do it again. All right. <laughs> yeah. Again, it was Emily's fault. What is the weird th weirdest thing you've ever, you ever did to impress a girl? Weirdest thing I ever did to impress a girl? Um, I flew 24 hours straight to get to Emily's premiere when we first met, and then flew 24 hours back after 24 hours. Thank you. So, looks like, <laughs> looks like it was pretty smart. Yep. I think she was a little weirded out by it. No. Like, like wow, you flew all that. Wow, okay. No, that was really sweet. Really? Yeah, I remember okay. the. I remember the. Story. You remember that story? Yeah, yeah and right. she and she loved it. I uh, stopped at your house for three days. Yeah. I needed to replenish. <laughs> Most embarrassing wardrobe malfunction. This one? Is there? No, you look lovely. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never knew that. <laughs> if you were, if you were an animal, what would you be and why? Uh, I would be a cheetah because it's the fastest animal. Yeah. And I remember being a kid and thinking that was really cool. Fast. Yeah, they're very fast. Very fast. I like them. A Quiet Place... Okay. A Quiet Place Part 2 comes out March 20th. We'll be right back.